Well, it was a historic day for the University of South Alabama. The Jaguars played its first home game in the brand new Hancock Whitney Stadium. NBC 15's Laura Barcheski is live tonight from the stadium. Laura, thousands have waited years for this day. Rachel, South Alabama Jaguar fans tell me it was amazing to walk through those gates to experience the inaugural game at Hancock Whitney Stadium. I felt like tears coming out of my eyes when we started Whitney walking Stadium in. For the it's an emotional day for thousands of South Alabama Jaguar students, fans, and players as history was made. <laughs> Only about 6,000 people of the 25,000 Hancock Whitney Stadium holds were allowed to be here tonight, but it's a night they won't forget. I'm excited. I have uh, two degrees from South. I have my undergrad and my master's, and when I started here, there was nothing. So to see this come to to be, is, it's amazing, excited. Fans are required to wear masks. Staff checked temperatures upon entry, and no tailgating is allowed for the entire month of September. We got a form saying what they were doing and how to keep us all safe, and I think they're doing a great job at it. People in attendance say the rules didn't stifle the excitement. It's exciting to be part of history. Um, first game in the new stadium, so that's awesome. I can't describe it. It's just the, nice game it's been the best the feeling three, knowing we're coming wave. home. The South Alabama community has been anxiously awaiting this day for quite some time. This is a great day for Mobile. It's a, it's a wonderful day for this university. All of us alums have been waiting on this, some of us for, you know, 40 years or more. So we can't believe it's here, but it's been a project and a lot of people deserve a lot of credit for it. Those who helped bring this stadium to life say seeing fans in the stands makes the hard work worth it. But it's not really until you start to get fans here and the team on the field that you really feel the experience of the stadium. So that's that's really what I'm most excited about today is really sort of feeling that the, the entire stadium. It's kind of, it really feels complete now. We just found out the results of the game. The game just ended. The South Alabama Jaguars uh, unfortunately lost to the Tulane Green Wave 27 to 24, but it was still a historic and exciting day for all fans. Reporting live in Mobile, Laura Barcheski, NBC 15 News.